For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot sniffing out the college football 25 cheese. Today, I got a full breakdown of all the information that we know about Road to Glory that's been uh, released. Yesterday, I did a full breakdown on Dynasty Mode, and I've already done a full breakdown on all the stuff that we know about gameplay, but there will be more gameplay coming out tomorrow. A deep dive about gameplay is going to be coming out tomorrow. So if you guys want to see me do a video about this type of topic on that information that comes out tomorrow, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, the number one thing that, you know, my personal opinion on this particular game mode is that EA is advertising that they put more time into Dynasty and uh, the gameplay itself than this actual mode. This mode typically feels like a little bit of an afterthought. If you played Superstar mode, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, to me, I think most people just want the gameplay to be tight. Uh, so that's kind of the biggest concern. And I think that they're going to have that under wraps. Uh, but when I read some of this information, it makes me uh, question um you know how much of a commitment they made here it almost makes me feel like we're going to see another game mode where there's really just you know not a lot of importance to the decisions you're making um there's not going to be a ton of you know they don't even have like voice actors like we play 2k's career mode there's like voice actors and all kinds of stuff this is usually like text and then you have like these you know mummies uh just standing there not really talking or moving their lips or nothing that, that's what i feel like it's probably going to be but let's go over the information that they released. Now, the first thing that they mention is that Road to Glory is going to be about 10 to 20 hours for the story mode. That's a pretty big uh, difference, 10 to 20. Uh, I mean, I know there will be a difference. They talk about red shirting. If you red shirt, obviously you add a year. Uh, but I can't imagine how much like side quests and red shirting and stuff like that could change the the playthrough of a whole 10 hours. Basically double the, the, the playthrough if uh, if it goes a certain way. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I feel like it's probably going to be closer to like 8 hours and they're just embellishing here. But either way, they, this go, this article I'm reading goes as far as to agree. They say it's a pretty short amount for a career mode, but considering that you're playing in a 4 year or maybe 5 year college experience, it's somewhat understandable. Now, another bummer here is you only get to pick between five positions. Once again, it goes to show that they really didn't put a ton of time into this mode based on the fact that you can only choose between a quarterback, a running back, a wide receiver, and well, that's offense, three positions on offense, and then only two on defense, middle linebacker or cornerback. Uh, leaves out things like defensive line, uh, you know, tight end. I guess maybe you don't need a ton of these positions really, but that feels kind of bare bones. You also get to pick out an arch type, which will determine your skill tree, obviously. Uh, it doesn't say what type of arch types there will be, but you can guess based off of the ones that we've seen in Madden. It's probably going to be pretty similar to that uh, because it's really, it says it's not about accruing points. Uh, and building up, uh, you know, putting them everywhere. It's about building up pre-selected areas. Um, it says you, you're not going to start in high school, which is kind of a bummer. I know a lot of people want to start in high school. Uh, this time you say you're just I mean, which one? That once again just sounds like. I mean, it's not like it's a. It, it's it just sounds like they didn't feel like adding that. It says that you start by deter by picking your you know five star, four star, three star, two star recruit, and you start from there. If you choose as a five star, you're gonna be 79 overall, four star 75, three star 70, and a two star 65 overall. Uh, it says you choose to be a two star, you're really gonna have to spend a lot of time in practice before you get on the field. And if you choose to be a five star, you're basically gonna get a position battle right away, which sounds like one of the bigger things you're trying to trigger if you're one of these smaller or lesser um, highly recruited players. You're gonna basically work your way up to trigger a position battle, uh, which I'll talk about more in a bit. But that's basically what you're gonna try to do. You're gonna try to get on the field by winning a position battle, which I'll go over in a little bit. But it says each school has uh, 14 pitch grades and it says that you're going to choose based on, for number one, you're going to get offers based on your star level, obviously. Uh, but it also, you're going to choose based off of which one of these um, pitch grades aligns with what's most important to you as a player. Now, it says once in school, you're not going to have a dorm room. Once again, cutting out, it sounds like they're cutting, you know, not putting a lot of time and effort into this. Um, but yeah, you're going to be basically doing this all from the main screen with scenarios popping up on your phone. Think like bottom right corner of the, of the main screen. You're going to get like, you know, you have a little phone with text alerts, which like I said, all this sounds like they're really cutting, you know, they're, they're not putting a ton of effort into this for the first year. Uh, after that, you have five different areas of focus, academics, leadership, health, training, and brand. It's going to be important to uh, make sure that you, I mean, obviously like I said, if you're a 65 overall player. You're going to want to put a lot of time into training, but you can't do that to a point where it hurts your health 
or it hurts your academics because you're not putting enough time into, into school. You could be academically ineligible. So it's going to be a bit of a juggling, uh, you know, a bit juggling your, your schedule, uh, which is kind of one of the coolest things that I've seen so far in this game mode, the fact that you'll have challenges like that. Uh, but they're also going to put you in situations where it's like you have to choose one or the other. And no matter what you choose, there's going to be consequences. Madden does that in CFM where you have to choose between offense and defense, quarterback and running back, stuff like that. And then it can negatively affect the, you know, the confidence of a different player, stuff like that. So they, that's pretty common for what they do in their game modes. Uh, but balancing is going to be key. Uh, and like I said, it's not going to be black and white. They're going to put you in a situation where what you decide to do could hurt your schooling or it could help your leadership, or it could hurt your leadership grade, and stuff like that, which is, you know, that's one of the more interesting areas that they, they do here. Let's actually go into the five areas a little bit more. Academics is all about maintaining a GPA. You don't really have to go to school from what it looks like, um, but if you do not, I mean, you're just allocating time into school. I don't think you're actually gonna be doing like study hall, like I think that was something that was in previous games, uh, but you have to allocate some of your hours to school to make sure that you maintain a good enough grade to play it says if you become academically ineligible, then you're going to have to spend more of those hours on things like tutors, which obviously is going to set you back in other areas. So you're going to have to constantly balance that out. There is now leadership is more to do with your coach where you're going to earn coaching trust points and you want to get enough to basically get onto the field. It says that allocating time here means getting in the film room and doing the necessary football work. Uh, that's not on-field drills to show your coach and teammates that you're committed. Uh, basically, if you do this enough, once you get to a point where you can actually get on the field, you'll trigger a position battle, which I mentioned earlier. It says the position battles are basically mini games, um, which is I'm sure that maybe they're similar to the ones that were put in Madden last year. It's 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 unique that you see uh, while they're making college football behind the scenes that Madden's getting a lot of the features that are going to be in college football, things like uh, mini games. And, um, you know, the crowd noise affecting stadiums and stuff like that, all the all the home field advantages, which are obviously they came from college football first. So it seems like while they were developing this stuff for NCAA, they were also like, OK, let's put it in Madden uh, because it can work the same way. So that's kind of how I look at it. But ultimately, you'll have to win two out of three of the mini games, whatever the mini games are based off the position that you're playing uh, to earn your spot. It says if you win, you get a big coast in a big boost in coach trust, which is like fifteen hundred points for a starting job, which is what they saw. Uh, and then you can uh, you have to play each week, but you have to play well because if you don't play well, you could lose like a hundred per week, uh, which means that while your coaching points are going down, your your the guys behind you's coaching points could be going up, and they could eventually trigger another battle to try to take your job. Where you'll have to win two out of the three uh, mini mini you know mini games once again to keep your job. So you're gonna have to fight to keep your job. You have to play well to keep your job. It's not like once you get your job, you're you're starting for the rest of your life and everything's gravy. You got to play well to keep that. So that's something that's um definitely important next they go over health they keep talking about the wear and tear system like i said you can't put all your hours in training because if you do that you're going to start getting injuries or basically getting to a point where um you know you could get injured and miss time that way so uh you know you don't want to necessarily over train madden has something like that when it comes to um you know the choices for uh i mean a lot of people like the league i mean we take that off but there's a lot of times where it's like you can choose to rest your players just so they are more healthy for games and stuff like that you'll have to take those things into account uh it also says that if you're you know say you're um you're, you're a quarterback and you're hurt it's going to affect uh the, the play calling uh, because you're not going to get things like read options called very often or, you know, stuff like that could affect uh, play calling based off of the health of your player, which is important. Next up, we have training. It says training and practices and on-field work where you gain XP and you boost your ratings and skill tree. Like I said, obviously you can't go too heavy into that because there are downsides to all these things. But... Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much all that is. That's probably the easiest one to understand. Everybody knows what training is. We play Madden, they have training every week in uh, in CFM. Similar similar idea here. Brand is something that's kind of a little bit different. It says that this is part of the NIL portion, even though there is no real NIL. Um, but you can sign brand deals, which I think I've seen like 2K and stuff like that, and it gives you like a boost um, to to certain things. Uh, it says this might seem like an, uh, the least important thing and the easy section to pull off. However, each brand deal will come with in-game boosts that will help you out. And boosting your following could be important for the portal. So if you plan on moving from whatever school you're in, uh, having a you know a, a, a highly uh, thought-after, sought-after brand 
could really um, help out when it comes to, to being more wanted from better teams when you want to when you want to transfer to better teams. Now, when it comes to red shirting, you can do that, but it's not a choice. I mean, you can't just say you know you want a red shirt, um, but you can like tank practices and stuff like that to basically uh, get a red shirt year. It'll happen automatically if you don't play at least four games, uh, which is kind of interesting. The transfer portal um, is something that will be available at the end of every off season. It says you'll get offers from teams that fit your preference, uh, and basically. Um, um, you know, the, the, the most important thing when it comes to this is you have to understand that it's an off-season thing. Coaches can get changed in the off-season as well. So if, you, if you're if you going to a, a certain school and they lose their head coach, you might have to gain coach points all back up again and stuff like that, uh, which is something that, you know, obviously um, – could uh, could negatively affect you. So, you know, you, you don't really want to go through that process. So it even mentions something like you could follow your old coach to a new school, obviously like, you know, Colorado and Deion Sanders and all those players did that. Uh, you can get records and awards and stuff like that, conference, all, all American, stuff like that. They're all conference, all American. That's all available in the game. Uh, and then last but not least, you can also export your created player into uh, Superstar mode in Madden, which is something I went over in Dynasty mode yesterday that was not available, uh, which is kind of a bummer. But if you'd like to play this game mode, you can play it all the way through college, all the way up to the pros and you know go to the Hall of Fame and the pros, which is pretty cool. If you guys want to see more information about gameplay that was released or more information about uh, Dynasty mode, which I made just yesterday, I'll have that on screen now. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.